through there. Let's uh, let's do it. It is topic time. Here we go. Boom, Snook. Time again. Is it John. playing music? No, there's no music. This is not tip time. This is Snook time, John. Uh, <laughs> but what if we give them tips? Mm, no, no, no tips. No we tips. just we just wanted to announce that it was Snook time. Uh, you guys have a wonderful evening. We'll see you next yep. week. Come back. Have a good one. And you can win. <laughs> so, John, I've been talking. We're going to let you talk. Let's start it off. Uh, it's snook season. Right off the bat, what, what's a snook got to be, John? What's the rules on snook? 28 to 33. Good job, John. I don't keep snook. <laughs> Why do you want to put me on the spot like that? I don't keep fish. I don't know what the heck they need to be. You need a well, lawyer on a boat to know these gonna, kind of things. If you're going to eat these yucky, soapy tasted yeah. fish, I don't you even need know to why know you want to know what John. the heck the rules are on a dang fish. I don't keep them things. I don't even have a snook stamp. So now that we've established that, John. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're going to talk about uh, live baiting, yep. I guess, because that's, that's so, how you like to do it. All right. Live baiting. So we use cigar in short which is good stuff down here at Camps Cove. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, no. We fish for big snook. Oh. For photos. I don't fish for little snook. I don't want a slot snook. I could care less, which is fine. If I, I mean, if we catch one, that's fine. We'll take a picture. We're trying to go 40 inch and above. We're trying to break 50. It's going to happen this year. Um, we'll use anywhere from 40 pound to 100 pound. We have been beaten on 80 pound. We may have to upgrade this year because the area we're fishing is extremely rocky and those fish are so smart that they will make you look like bad fishermen like I talked about, me bad fishermen in short. Vegetarian. Um, now, I put together a little rod and reel combo down here for you guys. My wife and I are using four and five thousands. Um, my wife likes the pink Crowder rod. Um, it's a heavy duty fiberglass rod, so she loves it. And she uses a four and five thousand Daiwa BG. This is going to be my new snook combo go to, which is a sustained Shimano with a Shimano rod, um, a Talavera. This is this is there, there nothing to this. This is light, man. Nothing this is air, strong. Man. Tyler Jacobs tested sustained. Um, come down to Caps Cove, get one of these. You can throw this all day long if you're throwing lures. We we throw. I'm a I'm a live bait fisherman. I use live mullet. Um, you can chunk cut lady fish up, big chunks of the head, the mullet, all that good stuff too. But but I'm a I'm a live bait fisherman about mullet about that big right there. So six seven inches long, um, using a circle hook. If you're that long, you need another. You need to get on the other show. Um, but uh, so so. I'm using about a six to eight foot long piece of fluorocarbon, circle hook. My wife likes a three-aught small. There's a lot of people that use small ones. I use a bigger one um, just because I want the gap to go in the snook's mouth bigger because you're liable to catch tarpon while you're doing this, big snook, and big bull red. So there's three choices you can get. Um, we le What we do is, is we leave these rods out. We don't touch them. We throw them out. And we let them sit. One of them will have a cork on it. One of them, no cork, just on the bottom with a knocker rig so the mullet stays down the bottom. Yes, you'll catch sharks too. You'll get broke off, but that does happen. Um, part of the joy for that's, you, yeah, isn't that's it? part of the joy because we don't <laughs> mind catching the big sharks and stuff like that. You have to cast net these mullet. You're not going to buy them at a bait store. You're going to have to do the work. We spend about an hour a day finding the bait. It pays off. Trust me, it'll pay off. They love live pinfish. You can get those at gyms. They love big uh, mud minnows. You can get those at gyms. Um, they also will eat a shrimp, believe it or not, a, sh a shrimp doesn't, snook don't turn shrimp down. If they, if it's in front of them and it moves, they'll eat it. They're very aggressive eaters. They love live bait. A matter of fact, they might be eating shrimp right now more as this month goes on. Usually towards the end of the month is when they start picking up on live bait, the bigger mullet and stuff. Right now they're a little skittish. They're going to be doing what Eric does more, throwing the plugs and the, and the spoons and stuff. Um, but, uh. While you got those poles out, then you can start working. You can throw your bait or you can throw shrimp for just redfish and stuff and whatever, flounder, other stuff to catch. But um, but it's good stuff, man. It, 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 you know, when you do, when that drag goes off, 
it, it's it's good stuff. Big fish. If 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 you've ever seen John's boat when he's fishing, looks like a porcupine. What you talking about? You got rods out in every direction. <laughs> I'm a firm believer. <laughs> And there's a fish over here, there's a fish over here, there's a fish over there, over there, over there, and over there. And I'm a firm believer in giving all those fish something to eat. You're going to feed them all. What's wrong with that? I feed it's, it's, the it's, masses. It's entertaining to watch one of those rods go off because you've got, you're, you're, screaming, at, yeah, you're screaming at the other person in the boat to get all those other rods in. You, hurry, he's going to get tangled. Hey. <laughs> It's all part of the fun and enjoyment of fishing. It is. It is. Now, uh, you can do what John is discussing with just one or two poles. No, you and can't. while you're doing, listen, there you go. Always jumping. Up. Put the pranks on you again. <laughs> you can put one or two poles out with a live bait to keep yourself occupied while you are waiting for said um, live bait to do something. Keep yourself occupied by throwing artificial baits. I like the uh, this one in particular, Yozuri twitch bait, slow sinking. Um, just work that back to the boat, change up your speed, change up how you work it until you generate the bite. Uh, the X-Wrap, I mean, this is just an all around, whether you're looking for grouper, you're looking for big snook, um, I mean, this is probably my go-to lure for three quarters of what we fish for nowadays. I love these X wraps. Look like this. Very much so. Um, if you could catch anything on top water, it's my favorite way to catch them. But the uh, the Rapala top water, the Skitter Walk, uh, is a real easy one to get. Uh, they will hit top water early in the morning and late in the evening. Um, I know people have caught you know fish top water during the middle of the day, but I particularly catch them early on, especially if we're running a bank and I hear one blow up. You know, Ooh. he just crashed a mullet or something like that. I will stop whatever I'm doing to grab that topwater bait and throw it in that vicinity because nine times out of 10, he's going to hit that topwater bait because if he didn't get the bait, he's going to think he injured it and he's going to see that topwater bait and it's going to be a gravy train. Now, um, weird one in this area. Um, the spoon, Yankee Town um, spoons, crazy. In Crystal River, spoons, crazy. They um, they work. And the thing about it is, is it's throw it out and reel it. It's yep. probably one of the easiest it's baits easy. to work. <laughs> and right now they'll tear a spoon up, guys. Ah, uh, Jim's jigs head. Shrimp. Bounce the shrimp off the bottom. They'll eat it. They'll eat it. Put the bait that everybody in the Crystal River area, <laughs> Tahoma Sassa, probably down to Chaz, uses the DOA. Jim's jig and a DOA, deadly, deadly. combination. Um, if you're super, super shallow, DOA on just a two uh, or just a two size two bait hook, deadly. What does DOA stand for? Deadly on all fish? Uh, probably dead on arrival or something. I don't know, John. Why you ask me hard questions? Because you trying gave to me it? one. <laughs> I owed you one. There you go. And Yankee Town's favorite snook lure, <laughs> the Tommy lure, found right here in Captain's Cove. Uh, Tommy always tries to set new records. Uh, he's been fishing with this particular lure for years and years and years, and we're talking 25 plus years. He's been using the Bomber uh, Long A right here in this color. This is the orange bottom with a brown top. Been using it for years. Uh, you do have to change the hooks out for a stronger hook, um, but other than that, that is um, that's that's that is what we use. Um, that's good stuff. That is that is good stuff. This is the time to use them. Um, so, snook love rocks, John. Yes, they do. Rocks and fast moving water will generate your snook bite, especially here in this Yankee Town area. 
Um, if you are fishing more the Crystal River into Ozello, uh, you know, Homosassa area, um, deeper holes. And up against the mangrove islands, we've already seen them. These fish are already coming out from the back country. The water temperature has been in the 70s this week. Uh, yeah. It dropped down a little bit just because of the cold front, but it was still in the 70s. Uh, we saw some of the biggest snook already out and about pushed up as far as you could get into the mangroves. I mean, like right up against the shoreline under the mangroves, big, big snook are already out there. Um, hit them with your, your pinfish, hit them with that mud minnow, try to fling up that DOA under there, you know, do some of that dock flipping and you will have uh, some success. Um, you know, they're just uh, starting to warm up. This is probably gonna be a big weekend. Um, I know, you know, uh, Thursday, Friday, weather's supposed to be pretty good. It'll be a little bit windy on Saturday for all the tournaments, so we'll see what happens, but uh, it's going to be fun. Um, it's snook season again. Just remember to take care of these fish. Uh, if you catch one that's not a keeper, if you're keeping it, hold them up by the jaw, do whatever you're going to do. If you're releasing it, support that belly. Um, holding them up by the jaw, especially on bigger ones, breaks their jaw, and uh, they're just going to end up dying when you release them. So take care of these fish, uh, especially our bigger ones. We want to catch them over and over again. We want them to breed so we can keep catching them. <laughs> we have a great snook population. We do. In the Gulf Coast. Yep. Um, all the way to Tampa, all the way up to, they've, they've expanded all the way up to Swanee pretty much. Yep. Um, but again, um, if you're if you're not going to eat the fish and you're not going to take care of it and you're just going to let it die, don't don't do that. Nope. This is a this is a prized species of fish that is enjoyed by everybody to catch because they're just drag burning fun 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 fish. Take care of them, support their belly, hold them right, give them love. Don't just release them after a twenty minute battle and just drop them back in the water because they'll roll over on you and they will die or they'll get ate by a shark quick. It's Fun, fun, fun till daddy them. takes the yeah. T-bird away. Hold, hold them in your in your mouth. Let them hold on to you. They, they love to bite your thumb. It's a weird thing. They just like that. But let them say, I'm ready to go, and they'll let go, and then they'll swim away. But they're a wonderful fish. Take care of them. Don't kill them all. Eat you a couple, but, you know, let them go. Yeah. So, uh, let's see. So, Jacinda, I believe it's a... Um, I think they're mustad hooks. She, she's asking, what hooks do y'all recommend using to change out on the lures? I believe it's a mustad three or four times strong. Yeah, that three. And it's easy. Strong. It, yeah, and it's either a three or a four. I believe yep. is the size that uh, we we swap out for the for the Tommy the, these, lure. There. This 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 lure was made for bass, but it works so well in the saltwater. And Tommy has learned how to use this thing, so he just basically changes out the hook to a little bit stronger, <sighs> beefier hook. And, and then because snook are so strong, I mean, you, you, we're talking 40, 45 inch fish you're liable to plop into. You you don't just catch small ones with this lure. You can catch big ones, but you got to right. have a bigger hook or it'll straighten. It, so Tom, Tommy's caught over yeah. 40 All the time. plus yeah. on, on the time. regular on that. Yeah. All right, John. So we've done it. We got to the end of another one.